Can you identify the animal making this sound? The elk is Arizona's largest member of the deer family. Found in elevations above 6,000 feet, the bugle of the bull elk resonates across our forests during the fall mating season from September through October. Okay, get ready. Who's making this sound? That sound, like a car trying to start on a cold day, is the cactus wren. They have a large beak they sometimes use to turn over different objects to look for creatures to eat. The cactus wren can land on a thorny cactus without getting hurt and is listed as our state bird. You see four different animals, but only one makes this sound. This is the Sonoran green toad. They make this sound during the summer breeding season. Originally from a more tropical environment, they have adapted themselves to live in Arizona. The green and yellow spots make them look like jewels in the desert. Here is an unusual sound. Can you tell who makes it? This is the sound of the powerful jaguar. Jaguars sometimes move around in areas as large as 500 square miles. This large spotted cat rarely passes through Arizona, but has been seen as far north as the Grand Canyon. You may have heard this sound before. Can you tell which animal makes it? Coyotes are well suited to life in Arizona. Coyotes have been featured in Native American folklore and art. They readily adapt to life with man and can often be seen wandering around in cities and towns. Can you identify who's making this sound? This is the Gamble's quail. Primarily a desert bird, they can be found in most of the counties in Arizona. The Gamble's quail has a jaunty plume top knot and a cream colored belly. Even though they are a bird, they spend most of their life on the ground. Okay, get ready. Which animal is making this sound? When a rattlesnake makes this sound, he's saying, stay away, and that's exactly what you should do. Never try to tease, pick up, or kill a rattlesnake. Slowly back away and leave the snake alone. His bite can be deadly. You may have heard this sound before. Who makes it? This male house sparrow is saying to female sparrows, hey, I'm available for a date. These birds were introduced in the U.S. in 1850 from Great Britain. They can now be found in urban areas across America. Here is an unusual sound. Can you tell which animal makes it? That's the sound of a ringtail. When you hear that sound, it means he feels threatened. Its bushy tail looks like it has large rings around it. The ringtail is a close relative of the raccoon and has earned the distinction of being the Arizona State Mammal. You may have heard this sound before. Who makes it? You're listening to the sound of an Anna's hummingbird. They're big for a hummingbird and they have shiny bright red feathers on their throat and head. They like to eat insects and are attracted to backyard hummingbird feeders, eating the equivalent of half their body weight every single day. You see four different animals, but only one makes this sound. That's the cask-headed frog. You can hear them in the summertime after the monsoon rains, but you have to be quick because they are only around for about six weeks. The rest of the year they spend underground waiting for the rains to return. What animal do you think is making this sound? Capable of making all sorts of strange sounds, male great-tailed grackles are very vocal and very loud. These large-tailed birds are common in the Phoenix metro area and are usually found hanging around water. Okay, get ready. Which animal is making this sound? 
This masked fellow is saying, I don't want you at my front door. The black-footed ferret is a relative of the domestic ferret that some people have as pets. If you shine a light at one at night, you'll see two bright green eyes looking back at you. Can you identify who's making this sound? You can't miss hearing the calls of a flock of sandhill cranes. These large birds have been around for a long time. Fossil evidence has been found that indicates that these migrating birds have been visiting the United States for millions of years. Here is an unusual sound. Can you tell who makes it? The great horned owl has a very distinctive call. They like to roost during the day and hunt for food at night, using their keen sense of hearing and sight to find their prey. They can catch up to 1,000 mice every year. You may have heard this sound before. Who makes it? Pinion jays are very social birds, and they have a lot to say to each other. Their name comes from their favorite food to eat, the pinion pine seed. Next time you're in northern Arizona, you might get to hear their comical calls. You may have heard this sound before. Can you tell which animal makes it? The mountain lion is one of Arizona's largest predators. While the mountain lion is rarely seen, preferring to keep to themselves, they can be found in all habitat types in Arizona, especially desert mountains with broken terrain and steep slopes. Can you identify who's making this sound? Arizona is home to two species of turkeys, the Miriams and the Goulds. Miriam's turkeys can be found between five to 9,000 feet in elevation along the Mugion Rim and in the White Mountains. Efforts are ongoing to return Gould's turkeys to their native habitat in southern Arizona. What animal do you think is making this sound? Probably the most common of all ducks in Arizona, the male mallard is easily recognized by its iridescent green head, yellow bill, and a white ring around its neck. Its raucous call can be heard in lakes, marshes, and ponds across Arizona. You see four different animals, but only one makes this sound. The osprey is one of the best around at catching fish. They fly above the water until they spot a fish, then dive headfirst for their catch. Ospreys spend the winter in Central and South America, then return to Arizona in the spring. You may have heard this sound before. Can you tell which animal makes it? <coughs> this is the Mexican gray wolf, also known as Lobo. The Mexican gray wolf lives in packs of six to 12 members. They were listed as an endangered species in 1976, but wolves have been recently released in the Apache National Forest in eastern Arizona. You may have heard this sound before. Can you tell which animal makes it? That's the morning dove. You have probably seen some of these by your house. The call is from the breeding male who is brown with white tipped tail feathers. They like to eat small seeds and grains and can fly as fast as 60 miles an hour. Can you identify who's making this sound? <coughs> the pintail is arguably the most elegant waterfowl in Arizona. Their gracefully curved, slender neck is marked in the males by a white projection of body color. Its sweeping, pointed tail feather adds to its regal look. Okay, get ready. Which animal is making this sound? This little gal is sounding the alarm. She's saying, look out for the snake. You might think that she's a chipmunk, but she's actually an antelope ground squirrel. They're one of the few mammals to stay active during hot Arizona summer days. 
What animal do you think is making this sound? The javelina calls the southwest home. They prefer the desert, chaparral, and oak grasslands up to 6,000 feet in elevation, mostly south of the Mugion Rim. Dining on prickly pear pads, they are well suited to a life in our arid deserts. You see four different animals, but only one makes this sound. The ash-throated flycatcher can be seen in Arizona between April and August along streams and rivers. They love to eat mosquitoes, but you have to look close because they're only about six inches long. You may have heard this sound before. Who makes it? Canada geese are winter visitors to Arizona with a limited number of birds living here year round. Canada geese flock here during the fall to escape harsh northern winters, just like a lot of people do too. Here is an unusual sound. Can you tell which animal makes it? You are listening to the Great Plains Toad. If you go outside after a hard rain in the summertime, you might just hear these greenish brown amphibians calling to each other at night. They like to eat lots of bugs. Sometimes they call so loud, you might want to cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> 